Hey there, sign of Virgo. How are you all? This is a reading by me, Kim, for December the 3rd, 2020. We will start with some oracle cards and then we'll clarify it with the tarot and then we will finish with the tea leaves at the end. Hope you all are doing fine and I do appreciate everybody subscribing and I do appreciate the likes. Thank you so much. Let's get going. Let's get going. Virgo. For the sign of Virgo. December 3rd, 2020. Whoa. Oh, good. <laughs> I don't usually pick them up if they're um, on the floor. And they were not on the floor. They were like... All right. So, Unfinished Symphony and Yin. And I'll read from the book for those. Let's get you a Guardian Angel card. Let's look at the down there for a second. You can see him for Virgo. Ah. This is the one that was not before. All right. Angel of Positivity. Angel of Positivity. Unfinished Symphony and Yin. And then I'll get you some energy cards. Or Virgo. Journey. This might be about this journey uh, that's unfinished. Something about your journey that's not finished yet. And then yin is that feminine energy. It's kind of about um, passively having something happen. Let me see. Let me see. Let me get the book for that. So journey, yeah, it's, it's a journey. Whatever journey this is that has to do with this unfinished symphony. <sighs> All right, Unfinished Symphony, number 10. Number 10. It means unfinished business, an incomplete lesson, lack of closure, and the need to make amends. This is the time to tie up loose ends as you near the completion of a cycle or project and mastery of a lesson or skill. Before you can move forward, it's important that you can come to terms with where you are now. Practice radical acceptance. Take inventory so that our emotional and psychological closure can occur and the answers, answers will be found. You can't move forward if you are leaving things unfinished in something. It says, reflect on what is past so that the symphony can finally end on a high note. Aw, that's pretty and she's all... Happy looking, kind of like a joker, like dressed like the, the jester or something. The piano notes. And then another egg. She has lots of eggs in her, in her uh, stuff. She's got lots of eggs. Okay, yin. The feminine principle of receptivity. Letting someone else make the first move. Gathering information. Taking in cues. And the art of conscious allowing allowing that's what I was trying to think it's not about being passive it's about being in that receptive mode for the law of attraction to just kind of work for you um you're not thinking of what you don't have you're not thinking about lack you're not thinking about the girlfriend you don't have yet or whatever it is whatever the situation is you're thinking um I'm on my way to getting this I'm really close to getting this. I can feel myself getting this. That's that's kind of what that card is about. Now we have the Angel of Positivity. Angel of Positivity. Pretty sure that's about staying in a positive mood. But I will read a little bit from what they say that this card means. You've received it, this card, because of your fears and doubts about your current situation. In life, there are two ways to look at things, negative or positive, and it can be easy to caught, caught up with the negatives. Pay attention to visions, dreams, or symbols that he may share with you. As a sign that positive things are on their way, look for rainbows that can appear in the sky and in reflections in a crystal, in puddles, or even in the back of a bus. And then your affirmation is my angel of positivity is guiding me through my life challenges. He reminds me to be a positive spiritual being who only sees life from a positive perspective. Nice. 
All right, well, let's get some tarot cards to explain what some of these things are about a little bit further, go a little bit deeper. Okay, for Taurus. And I saw the Three of Wands, which is about being in that receptive mode. Wait, you know, it's the anticipation card, right? Three of Wands, waiting for something to come in. All right, let's do Journey. Let's clarify Journey for Virgo. Woo! <laughs> all right, yeah, well, that does clarify Journey pretty well. The Chariot is all about movement. Um movement forward you're doing something that will move you propel you forward to your victory that's the card of cancer this card is about having good balance knowing where you're going getting there in one piece this can be a physical journey or this can be a mental journey for you i think it's the situation and it might be something a situation that's at a distance because you know it is showing both the journey and the chariot. All right, let's get something on this unfinished symphony. Ooh, like immediately, immediately. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. This is either what role you're wanting to play. It is the motherly figure that is all about keeping people safe. Um, knowing that she's okay in her luxurious items because she loves her material things and she has control over her situation. Though, to get there, she has overcome many obstacles herself. This can be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or it can be a feminine energy around you regarding this journey or this, this situation. This is a very motherly figure. Um, Yin waiting for your manifestation to come in. Let's clarify that for sign of Virgo. All right. Patience, having some patience and being and persevering through whatever it is that you're needing to get through. Just know that you do have that willpower and um, you know, spirit does acknowledge that you've been through a little bit. You're beaten up here in this card. You've been through a lot, so you're a little guarded, but you're going to persevere and have the courage to see this manifestation through. Let's look at your angel of positivity. Why is it important that Virgo have a positive attitude right now? All right. So that you don't develop anxiety. So that you don't develop anxiety, paranoia, sadness. We have the five of wands competition it's kind of about competition people competing for the same things but there's also some arguing going on in the cards some people that don't agree and this is saying to be positive about this don't get stressed out about this uh, spirit advice all right let's go for the tea leaves and we'll wrap up your reading Virgo okay you know what? I think that's enough. It's plenty. Whoa. Fair man. Dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. Fly. Period of ill health or depression. Pale. Time to get out of a situation. Might have to do with this journey, too. Parrot. Someone will gossip about your secrets. That one comes out for everybody, so don't feel bad about that one. Bread, a period of prosperity and abundance. A period of prosperity and abundance. I'd say that that's what's coming. It's a touching the cancer. Uh, sorry, not the, the cancer. The cancer's um, card. It's the chariot. So it's touching the chariot and the queen of pentacles. This prosperity and abundance. All right. Um, thank you so much, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sending much love and light your way.